punches your driver's side Not window. Not driver's side, passenger side window. I'm sorry, Passenger Your side window. Doesn't break it. And I asked him, what's his problem? Good. Well, you already know what his problem is. He's drunk and he was acting stupid. And then what? I get out and I ask him, what's your problem? Why did you get out of the car? I don't Why know, Why did you get I out of the car? I was trying to figure out what was... Okay. Now, now you're out of the car. I'm out of the car. And I grab his shoulder. So you grabbed him. I grab his shoulder and now, I'm like... Now, let me explain to you. Up until that point, he was the aggressor. I'm finding that he did, in fact, punch you, that you mushed his face to get back. You didn't hit him, not even he says you hit him. You pushed him to get back because he was drunk and being stupid and arguing about nonsense. And then he acknowledges he punched you twice in the head. Terrible. And if you were turned around and clocked him at that moment, perfectly fine. <laughs> but then there's a break in the theater. And the break is you stop, you tell him to get out, he gets out of the car. What you do is, right now you're not injured, you drive away, go home, sober up. But now you get out of the car and grabbed him, according to you, by the shoulder. I didn't, it wasn't like a, I like grabbed his shoulder, but it wasn't like aggressive. I'm like, hey. Your Honor, like, I have. Sh I don't want to hear you. I'm like, hey, what's wrong? And so when I did that, he swung on me again, and then he punched me in my left shoulder, and that's when I punched him in the face. I never sat on him at all. I didn't tackle him to the ground. Let me tell you what your defense is. Your defense is he started the fight, I finished it, and if you start a fight and if you get the tail end of the fight, then that's your problem. Your problem is that the action stopped without anybody being hurt. Not even your car was injured. It didn't escalate to somebody getting hurt because you didn't get hurt. He's going to show me his injuries. And it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't gotten out of your car. I had a moment, a lapse in judgment at Good. the moment. Good. Your That's Honor. what happens. And you have a lapse in judgment. And unfortunately, you shouldn't be driving a car if you've been drinking, because most lapses of judgment occur when they're blurred by something else, alcohol, drugs, something. I mean, you can have a lapse in judgment when you're sober, but you're more likely to have a lapse in judgment when you don't have judgment, because it wasn't good judgment to get behind the wheel of a car. Okay, now let me see the medical report and photographs of your injuries, please. The police department would not release the photographs to me without a subpoena, but I do have the ophthalmology report, the medical record, the I'd medical like to bills see them. that have equal over $27,000, and also the um, cr victim compensation board that explains everything that happened as well. Also, the injuries don't constitute a single blow to the face. They Listen to me. Oh. I've explained the law to him. Mm -hmm. You hit him first. You were drinking. He was. was drinking. Your Honor, may I say one thing? Also, that's not the same thing he told to the restraining order hearing, and that's why I have a restraining order on him. Mm -hmm. What? We had a previous restraining order hearing that's not his same story. He told a different story in court. Mine was still the same, and she granted me a restraining order against him. That's a lie, Your Honor. A, just a second. What I'm telling you is I'm accepting what you tell me. OK. You hit him first. He mushed you. No injury. You hit him twice first. I didn't like being touched. Well, that's too bad. It doesn't excuse him when the action stops and he had the opportunity to get away from somebody who was drunk and had hit him, he should have been smart enough to do it. And it was, as he says, a lapse in judgment. They charged you $20,000 for one day in the hospital for a black eye? It was more than just a black eye. Shh. You didn't have any medical insurance, is that right? I did. I put it to them. The Victims' what? Compensation Board is supposed to be the first one to clear everything because I was considered the victim of a violent crime. And then I have to consult my insurance after that. So I actually don't know how much of these bills are going to be covered by insurance. Right. OK. So, and I don't really know either because the uh, well, application is still I don't know either. Then maybe you're a little premature. Anything else you want to tell me, Mr. Briscoe? You have, the, you have these two people um, here. Two witnesses. Um... Well, there was nobody else in the car. He said that oh, my brother or my cousin, that's part of his story that he's saying, showed up. They were, my brother and my cousin were with them. Doesn't matter. What does that matter? You had an error in judgment. Yes. And he was injured as a result of your error in judgment. And your error in judgment has to cost you something. Judging for the plaintiff in the amount of $2,500. That's it. We're done.